Hi guys, it's Joe outside the Attis Arena where Scunthorpe United tried to break the National League North attendance record. As you can see, the Chester fans have just arrived behind me. There's three coaches, uh, so plenty of away fans. I'm guessing others will be driving here as well. This place is close to selling out. I think the official record was 6,300 and something. Oh, there it is. I'll put it on the screen. Um, oh yeah, by the way, whenever it rains, uh, a lot of the grounds like to, likes to flood, which is great, car parks and stuff. We just had a torrential downpour, uh, so that's fun. You can see uh, they're giving the uh, stewards on the gates uh, a nice umbrella kind of thing. Unfortunately, it's blown over, so it's not really doing any good. Uh, right. um, am I coming Monday? As far as I know, yes. Yes, so as I try not to get run over, we do have uh, an excellent team of volunteers um, who, uh, using nine o'clock on a Monday morning after a Saturday game, uh, come down, uh, help clear away any litter, you know, plastic bottles, burger wrappers, sweet wrappers, all that kind of stuff. Saves the club a little bit of money and uh, helps us out a wee bit. And I think we might be winning today because an enormous rainbow! A rainbow has appeared, which means we're going to win. I'm not sure that's what a rainbow means, but I'm going with it. So we've got a DJ up ahead somewhere, uh, as you can probably hear. I'm going to have to keep waffling on because of YouTube and it's copyright strikes over the music, but you can hear fans shining eye in. There's a massive amount of people underneath the marquee enjoying the music. So you can hear the chants, you can hear the excitement. Uh, wow, that's a big puddle. Everybody having a great time. It's good to see Chester fans and Scunthorpe fans together having a chat, having a laugh. That's what football is all about. Just to the side, I know people won't want me to talk about the previous owner for obvious reasons, but one thing he was right about is this place does tend to flood every time we get rain. And as a football ground, that's not ideal. I've actually got uh, two tickets for today. Uh, I've got one in the Donny Road end terrace uh, and I've also got one where well, I usually go to vertical stands. Hi Honey Bunny! Hi Skinny Bunny! We winning today! Go on the iron! Alright, it's nice to see it. What have we got over here? The Iron Trust uh, do a tremendous amount for this football club. There's many faces over there. This is Andy's Man Club. I am dyslexic so uh, apologies for getting the name wrong. I don't think they're going to be too happy about the plot they've been given, considering the rain. But uh, maybe if someone was selling uh, flippers and uh, inflatable armbands, they might do quite well. One for the lads, uh, the council's foster care team, lots more puddles down, lots of mud down here as well. One for the lads, ladies' mental health. Uh, I don't know if they're setting up or putting away. Like I say, the weather has not helped, unfortunately. Um, I guess this is going to be on the list of things to fix because it is a little bit soggy, I think it's fair to say. At the far end, I believe that's Study United. So, do I try and help with this gazebo? I think I probably should. All right, I am going to uh, see if they need any help, although I think they've done it now. Um, no, they've already done it. Okay, the thought was there, the thought was there. So, I'm going to have a look in the dray. So I'm in the dray, uh, it's raining quite heavily, it's all blowing in which is fantastic, uh, it's getting very wet. Check a little bit of money for the club buying this ticket, uh, get to see the ground briefly from a different angle. Uh, I spoke to a uh, Chester fan, recognised me for my Army speed logs, had a good chat with him, really nice guy, gave him a 2-1 prediction. But yeah, it's uh, a little bit rubbish over here, so I'm going to see if I can get further back or something. Might be able to see the all important pitch inspection. Like I say, we have had a lot of rain. Um, but hopefully, all goes ahead. Can you imagine if this thing got cold off? Chester have apparently brought a thousand fans, which is great. Uh, so we're not using the overflow. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a cracking atmosphere. Starting up already. Hey, Fanny! I got my ticket! As you can see the uh, exec lounge is uh, quickly filling up, getting busy. 
And uh, I did get to meet Scunny Bunny, Annie Fanny, and we got a flag. And he's finally on the away bench. He can't be on the away team. Come on, lads! Come on, the Iron! I'll take you through the team items, starting with our visitors in goals on the one wheel standway, two Nathan Woodthorpe. Three is Joel Taylor, five Harrison Burke, six Matty Williams, eight in captain is George Clogan, number nine Charlie Caton, ten Elliot Whitehouse, eighteen Ben Tollett, twenty Ewan Murray, and twenty-five is Kevin Roberts. The substitutes are Tom Pierce, Alan Thomas, Christian Norton, Reese Daly, and Liam Edwards. Okay, if you can hear me, we've just been told that there's a 15 minute delay uh, just while the pit strains off a bit and whilst they get everybody safely to the ground, which is fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your team's Chester. Well, it lasted. <laughs> Very wanted to score here. Come on, no way! Well, we had an excellent spell of passing, then we gave the ball away and let that happen. 1 0. So it's half time. Um, we came out really going for it, firing on all cylinders, um, kept attacking, came very close a couple of times, fought some saves. Um, but didn't get the ball on the back of the net, which is um, traditional Scunthorpe at the moment. Um, it's one point, round about the 30 minute mark, we we're just passing the ball to each other, passing, 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 passing. Went on for about a minute or something. Uh, and then we gave the ball away clumsily. Uh, Chester counter attacked, didn't have enough people at the back, bang, uh, goal. Uh, out of nothing, really. It's a fair play to them. Uh, and after that, we've uh, seemingly lost our confidence, or perhaps fatigue set in maybe a bit of each, but we keep trying to get the ball on pitch uh, and then just giving it away carelessly, um, which is uh, quite common for us at the minute. So uh, not good, uh, one nil down, uh, apparently Tamworth are doing pretty good. Well, because we had a 15 minute uh, delayed kickoff, uh, apparently before we even kicked off, uh, Tamworth were 2 nil up.
say it's not got a lot wrong so far, but it's lost control here for me. It's going for our fans getting involved, that's not good. That could cost us. Always in one. Yeah, I need you to get off the pitch, sir. Leave it to the professionals. That's just a few, he's got some mates as well. <laughs> it was all going so well. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please send the keeper. Oh, Another yellow. Another yellow. Send a lot of them off. We might win then. Another yellow. card as well. Whoops, oh nice. Oh, here we go again. Now seriously, if you don't watch one part very often, come down because it's, it's the best, best entertainment I've seen in ages. This is not what we're about as a football club. One of our supporters just assaulted the goalkeeper. Not even joking. This is community today. And we welcome the attendance record. Today's match has ended 7,500. Hey, I'm pretty sure Denon just had a fight with a substitute. Well, pushed a substitute. It's all happening. Full time here at uh, the Sands. Oh no, that's the old name. Don't mention that name. Uh, at this arena, slap myself on the wrist for that one. Um, apologies for not getting this up sooner. Uh, obviously, there's been an awful lot to edit in this one. Very eventful second half. McAlinden scored uh, an equaliser. Great goal. Uh, full credit to him. Uh, then Chester immediately afterwards uh, took the lead again, two one, and uh, McAlinden got himself sent off. I didn't see the incident, to be honest, um, but the reaction from the Chester bench and the Scunthorpe fans around me, it did sound like it was definitely a straight red card, pretty much ban, which is uh, problematic for obvious reasons. Uh, going down to 10 men, galvanised nice does. Uh, I was saying to uh, Gareth, uh, the Iron Army blog um, host, that we need to double down, and I think we did double down, um, but... Yeah, so we went, we went all out, we were doing everything, we uh, got it to two all um, and ended up being 10 minutes at a time. Personally, I think they maybe should have been longer. Um, we just attacking, attacking, attacking. We brought Ogle off and brought Elliot on, I think. Um, so, you know, we were proper going for it. it gives me hopes for the playoffs because obviously... Um, we didn't lose and we kept coming back and you got to keep doing that. And I assume... I don't know much about National League play, uh, North playoffs. There's got to be a winner on the day. So that is a good sign. So if it maybe this had been a playoff game, maybe we would have had to keep going and we look more like winning. Um, I thought the referee had a great game right up until... Do you know what? I'm not really sure what happened. Um, but he took about half a year to make a decision. And then not long after that, 
everybody pretty much started getting yellow cards, uh, including our goalkeeper. We had uh, a little bit of crowd trouble. Um, it's all a bit of a blur because so much happened, but the, you know, there's this Gunfort fans encroaching onto the pitch. One guy shoved the uh, Chester goalkeeper, which is an absolute no. Um, we're probably going to get a hefty fine for that, so uh, that's not good. I think some credit to Jimmy Dean and to the players um, for, as I say, going for it. They could have just sort of, you know, done what we always, well, what we often do as a club and let it fizzle out. Um, I, I was thinking once that red card happened, we were maybe going to lose 3 1 or 4 1, but we didn't. It was 2 all. Uh, so credit to, to the club. Um, you know, we got the point. Um, I think Tamworth won again. I mean, they were 2 0 up because they did like kick off before we even kicked a ball. But it is what it is. Anyway, that's my first uh, stab at one of these videos. If you like this sort of thing, Iron Army, uh, Does Army is brilliant at it. This was just something I thought I'd have a go at, and then because it was such a chaotic game, I thought I might as well uh, keep some of it in. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you disagree or have any thoughts on the games, any sort of constructive comments are welcome. Um, yeah, and what did you think of the video? Uh, don't say it was it being terrible, you know, <laughs> be kind. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks guys, up the iron.